Godrej India Culture Lab's Vikroli Skin, a pop-up cultural event held on December 14th, held many attractions in the form of art installations, discussions and performances. But one of the biggest attractions was the unveiling of the Brahma 3 Anvil, India's first 3D printer. We had a chat with one of the founders of the Bangalore-based startup. I uh, am uh, what you could describe as an entrepreneur, although I don't really like being defined by other people. I just like to make up my own definitions. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I, I have started a company called Brahma 3. So uh, me and my co-founder, Arvind Nadig, so we both got together about six months ago and we, we decided to merge our companies and uh, form a, a studio that would work on ideas that would become really big and change the world in the next 10 years. 3D printing technology has been around since the 70s, but it only garnered popularity over the past three years. Since 2010, a number of 3D printers have been manufactured by firms across the world. But until now, there has never been one indigenously manufactured in India. What made them do it? None of us in my team had actually seen a 3D printer before. And the thing was, uh, we wanted a 3D printer to print some cool stuff for us and like electronics and all of those things. So India has about zero, approximately 0% zero of the global market. That was when we realized that, shit, we want to do this. We want to build the world's best printer. That was our game plan. So we, we got started and in about in about three months, we, we launched uh, our printer, which is the Brahma 3 Anvil. And uh, we, brought, we brought together, what's really worked for us is that we brought together a, a f literally the world's best team. The applications of this technology are enormous with publications such as The New Scientist calling it the new industrial revolution. How does this apply to India? It's going to change everything about the world, like everything that we know about the world. I think the biggest impact is going to be in, in, uh, in education. It's going to be in education because uh, it gives it gives people a new access to visualize things. You know, you're not looking at a paper 2D drawing anymore. You can actually hold uh, a human heart or a, uh, a methane molecule. In India, we're often late when it comes to adopting new technologies. How does the Brahma 3 Anvil compare with existing 3D printers being manufactured all across the world? What we've done is like our uh, we've taken you know parts of the printer and we've really innovated on each part and we've actually done what we believe is the is some of the best technology in the world. Like for example, our extruder and hot end, we've created completely from scratch and we've uh, we made that ourselves. And you know we think that it it can heat all the way up to 400 degrees centigrade. And uh, so we could we are actually future to, as, as opposed to the regular ones are about two 200 to 250 degrees. If a child needs to use 3D printing, all he has to do is go on to our uh, Brahmati Android tablet and just swipe, select, go through a menu and just press print. We've got some crazy ambitions. We want to be, uh, you know, like March 17th, we're actually launching our next printer, which can print in chocolate. Then our next printer is, you know, this crazy cool material that I cannot tell you about. And, you know, so we've got a whole pipeline I'm of printers. Chocolate, so awesome. Really, really. <laughs> so we have, whole, <laughs> we have a whole... While 3D printing has sometimes been in the news for all the wrong reasons, such as 3D printed handguns, there are some unconventional applications for the technology which are beneficial. We want to collaborate with uh, housewives, with dentists, with doctors and you know have them you know throw random crazy ideas at us you know like a housewife saying something as simple as I want a better way to organize the folks in my house and we'll work with her and we'll make that into a case study you know uh, a child could tell us that I want to I want to make an ultra centrifuge at home right and we work with them to actually make that happen so you know we, we want to like build and foster a really strong uh, community of makers um, and why that is very important is because otherwise the only news that you're going to hear about uh, on the internet is 3d printing guns and this is going to encourage people so instead of going down that path let's give people amazing news let's give tell them that you know uh, this child had a had prosthetic limbs 3d printed and now his life has changed you know let's give them news like that <laughs>